haven't got my tits out. That's not good. I need that out of the camera. Yeah. How much are the tables in shot, by the way? Um, right there. Oh, okay, cool. Move that sharp out of the way. Could, could you grab me a badge from the fridge? Any badge, you don't care which. According to the thing, we're not live yet, so. It's not showing that. Oh, my TNG, but oh no, we're live. We're definitely live. Definitely now. live. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Ah, it's a bit cold on my nipple. <clears throat> I'm down leaving. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Why? My erect nipple is a bit too much for you. Yeah. Still got to do that photo. You still got to do that photo. <laughs> right, so would you like to do a shout out to the bunnies we need to do a shout out to? And then we'll get on. Hello, with. Dave. Hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. Well. Hi, Vadro Mac. How are we all doing? Right, so, hi and welcome to Geekology. I'm David. I'm Sven. And tonight we'll be reviewing Star Trek, the official Starship collection. Eagle Moss, issue 134135, and da 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 da, the USS Kobarashi Maru. Which is just taking up a space until what we really want. Because we need a space dog. What we really, really want. <laughs> Can we what want? What we really, really want. To... Do I have to pay? It's going to be like that tonight, isn't it? It's going to be one of those nights, yes. Oh, oh good. <clears throat> right. Do you, do, you want, do you want to start? Yes, let's start. Here, have a ship. Okay. Why is there a pink tribble on the boat? Oh, I've been having terrible trouble with tribbles. Hang on. Let, let me see if I've got you in fact been having more, more tri tribbles with more Hang tribbles. on, hang on. I, I will cure this problem. Glomma. Right. There we go. Problem sorted. No more tribble. There we go. Right, so, <clears throat> on with the rest of the episode. What? How rare is that thing? <laughs> it is quite fun, isn't it? Look, look, look at the giggly I'm... eyes. Look at the giggly eyes. It was on camera for how long in the animated series? <laughs> Seriously? I don't care, it's cool. <laughs> and the theft of it caused almost a war? It, it amuses me. An ecological me. sabotage? It, it amuses me, just no end. Right, so... Hi Adam, hi Track Cave, hi Linda. Hello, hello. hello. Right, so in typical British fashion, I'm drinking tea out of a squirrel. Yeah, out of a squirrel. <laughs> out of a squirrel's head. Oh, it's a red squirrel. So has Dave been on the booze already? He's awake. No, actually, I I haven't today. I'm I'm being good. I've got a heavy weekend ahead of me, so. I, uh, and a really heavy yeah. weekend next weekend. Oh, next weekend is going to be oh, fun. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the party. It's going to be good. And Mike's on. Hi, Mike. Being subjected to any um, any uh, data breaches today. Are we actually going to address that? Did, should we address that? We are we going to address that? that? We're, we're addressing that. Are we addressing oh, oh, we're addressing that. Should, 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 I put my job? should I put the ship down? No, we'll like, do it later, but uh, okay. we're addressing that. Especially with the first instruction they handed out, which was even worse than the breach. We won't go there. Why? What was the first instruction there? No, let's do the magazine. Let's do the magazine. Let's, okay, come Nipples on. are on leaving. He's already done that. <laughs> I, 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 Mike, Mike, remind me to do this sodding photo that I've been trying, that I've been meaning to do for months, even, is it months now? It might be months, it's definitely weeks. Um, uh, yeah, I think it yes. can as well. What have Eagle Moss done now? Sven, <laughs> Sven, Sven, can, can we please do the ship I've been looking forward to? Because it's the only one out of this section. So can we please do the one I've been looking forward to? You're, you're actually admitting to looking forward to a ship from Enterprise. Have you been here for any of our reviews of the Enterprise ships? <laughs> I like, especially the Vulcan stuff. Love the Vulcan stuff. Vulcan survey ship from 1957. It went right up the creek. <laughs> oh... There's a there's a leaflet, Dave. There's a leaflet, Dave. Trying to tell you to order your um the thing. You've already ordered it. You got it as part of your subscription, didn't you? Yes, there yes, you I did. Vulcan survey ship from 1957, uh, from Carbon Creek, in fact. Uh, it was Carbon Creek, wasn't it? Right. right. Yes. Um, type survey ship in youth in the twenty in youth in use in the twenty fourth century. I wish I'd been drinking, but I haven't. Um, crew of four, length twenty four meters. 
Okay, and, and additional to that, it's operated by the Vulcan Science Director in the shock mode. Uh, it's capable of warp 4.5. Sorry, Dave, are we interrupted with you? Yes. Mm. Um, there's a CG shot of the ship and a couple of Vulcans, one of which we know. Ish. It's actually someone's grandmother. It's his grandmother, wasn't it? Yes? Yes, grandmother. Hi, Dave. How many things am I holding on? <laughs> ha 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 ha. The correct answer is that's not very damn funny. Let's get this right. Uh, shots from the show. There's a topographical view. Main bridge. Subspace transceiver. Annoying git on his phone. Um, retractable landing pad. Retractable landing fist on your face. Um, anyway, right. Um, uh, do you mind? You're meant to be doing the magazine. I've done the ship. The ship is awesome. I've done the shit. I've done my part. Right, sir. Right, second this. season, which is why oh, I got shot. Oh, you lost by the flyer. Why is going? On? Why? Why is this full of paper? Is oh, actually, what is, is that? Is this simulating that. standing in the middle of Dog Eight Smith with stuff dropping onto your feet? Um, oh, jeez. Uh, well, I never thought I'd see the Flash and the Enterprise on the same thing. So, yeah. Flash. Ah. Ah. Um, more shots from various bits in the show, and there's Carbon Creek, key, ent- key appearance in Star Trek Enterprise of this vessel. Okay. Uh, and don't forget, <clears throat> it needs to be home to watch I Love Lucy. Okay, quick, quick question for you. Yeah. I never noticed it in the episode, because obviously I was thinking of the scale. Yeah, because we saw it in the scale. But, but tell me, this... With a pole here, a sort of canapé over the top. Do you remind you of any other franchises? <laughs> just any other franchises. I'm just, I'm just curious. Are there any slugs on board being yeah, uh, just, attacked by, the, 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 by the, women a, wearing over? It's a little hand, um, is it? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, <clears throat> no, in all serious, this this is actually gorgeous. <laughs> um, Tricky Mike says, anyone want two Enterprise A XLs? Apparently, they've been sending those out instead of something else and been requesting them back because they copped up. No, no, you're back to you, no, no, the only way. Would you got you would have got it is if you ordered the new four shuttle set that came onto order this week. Okay. And then people immediately got delivered the wrong thing entirely, and now they've had letters through saying, "Can you please send these back because we cocked up." At which point, um, <laughs> you're not legally obliged. The consumer rights <laughs> act 2015 screaming, "Don't be divs!" Actually, they have the right to request them back. That's actually perfectly. Yeah, they have the right to request them back. You don't have to send them back. There is a difference. They have the right to request, mm. but they can't make you. They kind of can. They, they can, can charge you for it if they're asking back. I don't think. Yeah, no, no, trust me. They can. Okay. Oh yeah. Right. If you if you don't if it's not reasonable if I mean they've offered to do it for free, oh, postage, okay. um, and there is a caveat in 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 the consumer rights. And we show it's an accident. Maybe they're not trying to just unload the rest of their it's Enterprise A. It's special. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. Maybe they're trying to unload the A stock. <laughs> Maybe that's the best selling um, technique they've come up with. Badramek said, I think Sven needs to carbon date that joke. Yeah. Yes. At he, least yes. it has two paddles for use in the creek. <laughs> um, one of my favourite episodes of Enterprise. Don't <laughs> blame you. There's a good reason for that. Damn good. Yeah. So, yeah uh, so. A damn good... Um, yeah, it's gorgeous. It is. It's really nice. There's a Luke Detail- Skywalker jumping around. Yeah, yeah there's that. Flatsaber. Detailing's nice. Colours nice. That's actually really nice. De- beautiful. The the join mark is incredibly well hidden in the, the that's, model. That's although, clever. granted, that was you know, mainly the model. But look, even the way they put the struts on the bottom. I love the, the colour change here. Yeah. yeah. And the scratching marks at the front. Oh. Give it that weathering. And oh my. It's stunning. It's nine oh and a half. My. Oh my. And what are you going to oh get? Oh my. Oh, nine and three quarters. Nine and three quarters? <laughs> okay. What's it That's losing? Nice. What's it losing the quarter for? I am. Yeah. What? Why? I. 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 Uh, because it's not a ten. <laughs> because it's not a <laughs> ten. Um, you pointy in. <clears throat> it's not a 10 because it's a pointy You're green blooded, inhuman. Um, Fascinating. Mm. Captain. Oh, I'm, I'm actually tempted to give it a 10. I'm tempted. The only thing is, I don't like the weathering. I never like weathering on ships. Mm. I know it's Depends really on the ship. Different. Depends I'm, on the ship. Something always puts me off about it. I like, I like my ships being pristine and showroom 
condition, basically. Mm. Okay. But there we go. Um, but that is really, really, really nice. Did you see the way they did the back uh, engine housing as well? Mm. That's quite cool. It is. We're going to have to do... We'll, don't let me go until I've done photos. We will do photos. We will do really pretty photos. Okay, uh, Sven, since the iPad is your side of things, would you like to um, check through the comments and think we should know before we move on to the next part? Yeah, do them all. Okay, <laughs> well, that was quick and easy, much like you. So... <laughs> I didn't say it loud enough for them to hear it. It's yeah, funny. you did. Did I? Did you did it. Just a bit. Tiny, 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 tiny. I miss you, by the way. Who? Oh, then you didn't hear. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh, moving so quickly cool. on. I like that. Okay, so. Ooh. That's a well done stand as well, the isn't stand it? Is the stand is. Except for stand is the stand. It but doesn't stay in the hole. Yeah. That's that a problem you have, isn't it? Dave, you know this is live, right? Yeah, you can't edit it. You know, when, 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 when you haven't had any alcohol, you, you really don't have an excuse for this crap. <laughs> really don't. <laughs> I think our don't regular viewers that. know me and you well enough to know what I'm like. <laughs> right, so, look close, you see to Paul's grandmother's nipples behind the sheet on the washing line. I will shut up now. <laughs> he needs to as well. Because he's now thinking of that. Um, yeah, I have actually. Yeah, really. That did put it straight in my head. Blake nipples. Ding. <clears throat> okay, so. Big grand a Voyager ship that I was not looking forward to. In a short move. I'm, I'm happy enough to have it in my collection. But I wasn't particularly looking forward to it. So let's see what yep. it actually yep. looks like. Adam, you're completely right. Anything can happen in the next half hour. Why? What's he saying you should do with that front shit? Looks like Steve Ray. No, no, no. He's right. Uh, yeah. He so does. Yeah. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Dun -dun 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 Could the fake Delta Flyer be the heaviest regulation model so far? No. Just double check to me, I was to Paul's great grandmother. It is, don't get me wrong, it is heavy. It's and it's one. certainly the biggest piece of flat metal so far. But it's, it, this isn't the heaviest model. It's close. I'd definitely say it's second. You can beat someone to death with it. Which, if you get that trust phone me, out again, might be hard. Trust me. Um, depending, <laughs> depending on uh, who it is, I can beat somebody to death with most of the Eagle Boss. Actually, the only one I would struggle with, but I would still manage, would be the DS9. Yeah, because of that bit. And even then, it's I'd give it a good It's only because it would break while you're picking it up. I'd still give it a dollar um, try. Right, issue 135, dollars. The Alter Flyer. With bunny ears and everything. Um, oh, good God. Type cargo shuttle in use 2376, length 30 metres, crew of three. Uh, is this the one, is this the fake, the fake Janeway with the oversized badge? The fake Janeway with the oversized badge, which, I, don't get me wrong, I love the episode. It was a good episode. What the hell is this? It's just... Uh, Top speed of warp nine. How? It isn't really, it, it's faked. It's a fake warp nine. It's a warp three, but three times. Weaponry phaser emitters, they don't really work very well. If I remember rightly. Um, anyway. There we go. CG shot of the ship with its amazing look. I have LEDs from IKEA. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a fun episode. There was, there was lots in this episode that was yes. enjoyable. It, remind me, what race was that? Because that looks awfully Romulan. It isn't. But it looks awfully Romulan. But it isn't. I know, but it does look awfully Romulan. Topographical view. The cargo contains everything. Yes. Actually, can I have a quick hand at the topographical view for this one? Yeah, my car. So navigation deflector, docking ports, docking clamps to go with the docking port. This um, kinkier by the minute. Um, alternative after cargo door, uh, impulse and warp engines, cargo containers, and so on and so forth. Designing uh, Dallas Delta Flyer. I'm amazed they did design it. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> visual effects from season six of Voyager. It's a word there, which is quite cool. And uh, what's that? Do? Is that a cow? 
Yes, there was another Jacob episode. episode where they... I do not remember. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, and then Live Fast and Prosper, uh, which is a key appearance in Voyager. Mm -hmm. A little bit of trivia. And mentioning the Keldon class. Keldon? Keldon class. Uh, from the Cardassians for issue 136. Which is actually, uh, again, another ship I'm quite looking forward to. Right, so, let's, first of all, let me give you my big plus point for this. Eagle Master, the only people that would have ever produced this. Correct. That's, no one. No one. That's the plus there. side for yeah. this. Okay. Negatives. Let's start with the absolutely hideous join line underneath, which is massive. Let's go with the fact that the warp nacelle windows are bolted on and you can actually see the two pegs holding them in place and it's very poorly gridded. <laughs> then let's shift over to the absolutely dire paint job on the back. Let's start with the extra Artex ink, which it did not need and should not have. And I'm fairly sure that's a fudge up as well. Going to some of the comments, um, ugly ship ever from Trekkie Mike. Um, uh, it's not a mail on freighter. I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> actually, you know what? Even the mail on freighter had some nuance and subtlety that made it novel. Okay. Um, I don't mind it actually. Says dangerous Dak, but it's entirely the wrong colour. Could should be. The yeah, same it is. It is the wrong colour. Has the mail on? Yes. It is the wrong colour. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and. It's no. Trekkie Mike says it is the heaviest in the normal run, according to really? Colin on on uh, who said on Facebook because he actually weighs them. Okay, I would have thought this was the second. What would oh. you think the first one would have been? I knew you were going to say that. Oh, but I said that. I, I'd have to go and check. I can't remember off the top of my head. It's been a while. Thank you, remember. Just <laughs> go on. Molest the ship. You know you want to. Quickly going through these. Um, didn't they? Sorry, excuse me, Mark. Didn't they redress the Defiant Bridge for the set for the fake flyer? Adam says yes, they did. Jim says kinky. Uh, yes. Uh, Trekkie Mike, is this real geekology? Why? It's really going to get. Um, Mike, I thought that he said that the Vulcan Corvette was the heaviest disco ship. Um, data. Dala's Delta Flyer isn't the heaviest regular model. Um, I don't think it is. It doesn't fit. There is, there is one that's... Adam, like Adam says, scale it up a lot and it could fit in the original Battlestar Galactica. He's not wrong. That would fit in Battlestar Galactica and not stick out like a sort of thumb. Yeah? Maybe a few more pods beyond it. But yeah, that would work. Um, yes, you're correct. Run Vulcan ship. <laughs> um, Goroth's, Goroth's ship is absolutely the heaviest, I feel. Yes. Remember that? Yeah. It was basically... Solid piece of metal, wasn't it, from the ruler? Um, <sighs> problem is, is, is I see. Now look at that, and what I see is the, the ring um, repair platform thing that Rhinox was standing on in Beast Wars, and it came in to repair Optimus Prime's head after Megatron shot it. And of course, you would see a transformer. Yes, I mean, it's literally, you take it see, off. See, I, I, I like the Battlestar so Galactica yeah. comment more. I yeah. felt that was more, yeah, just no. Um, I'm like, um, yeah, that's not high up on my list. It's a six. Yeah. It's a regrettable six. And, uh, and I'll be brutally honest, a lot of the reason it's getting the six is because it is novel and it, it's the only way you'd yeah. ever get it. it. It was a good episode. It made me chuckle when I found out that ship was going to be in the listing because yeah. it made me reminisce about the episode. Yeah. So yeah. It, it scored slightly higher than I think it actually deserves because I don't feel that that is a good model. Hmm. Colour scheme's wrong. Yeah. I don't like that drawing line. I no. But I don't like the ship full stop. Um, yeah, but not liking the ship is not a part of the scoring mechanism. It should right. never be part of the scoring mechanism. It should be part of the scoring mechanism if you're ripping the ship apart for not being good enough. If it's a hero Those ship, pegs are quite distracting. Those pegs they? are distracting. Um, I'm going to give it a five. Okay. okay. Um, should, we, should we move on to the, one of the more controversial ships? Dangerous. <laughs> dangerous taxes. I see a, I see a real shitty defend. Yeah, um, I like the face on the back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, those blue areas are way too bright. They're way too bright. bright it should be dulled blue down. Blue metallic plating that doesn't yeah. glow. Yeah, Fair enough. and that, that doesn't, doesn't make sense. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. As I said, it's, yeah. it's just a, 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 amazing they did it. They actually bothered with it. Okay. At all. I am more amazed that they've done this than I am they did that. Especially when there's under At least there. this was used for most of an episode. And this was on screen for a blink. Um, okay. Most famous named ship everybody's heard of the Kobayashi Maru. It's the fact it's in, it's basically, a, a, to be Kobayashi Maru is now a saying yeah. in general use, as in to be stuck between a rock and a hard bloke. Um, the, and the no win scenario. The no win scenario. USS Kobayashi Maru, ECS 1022. Yes. Wasn't it the SS Kobayashi Maru? Don't know. <laughs> Special issue. Kobayashi Maru type. Okay. Operational on 2250s. Wasn't it just a simulation? From the Kelvin timeline. Um, yeah, I, I want to see some specs then. Move on to some spec, can you please? Yeah. Okay. Skip through this. The difficulty stuff. you've got oh, is God. I what don't think this. I'm pretty sure this isn't the ship that actually appeared on screen. I don't know. It was this big on the screen, well, and that there was in the cinema. That's not that ship. Okay. Can we have the cell phone first for a start? Um, the USS Kobayashi Maru appeared as part of the training scenario sequence in 2009 Star Trek. Hmm. 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 Um. Sorry, I just noticed that on the camera. We just got a pile of crap building up. Right. <clears throat> Watch, watch me trip over. Oh, you cheeky <laughs> fat child. You watch me and fucking trip over this and I get to do myself a drink. Right, yeah. And there will be much rejoicing. <laughs> much mirth will be here. Yes. Um, yes, some uh, concepts of the. Yes. Mm. That's quite a nice one. Mm. Shall we do Beats that? this. Yep. Unless we're going for a water landing. Of course, this is based on the SS Kobayashi Maru from Star Trek. Do the riff, Kion. Um, that's wrong. What? I, I can see it now, and it's wrong. What the hell am I looking at? <clears throat> oh, jeez. Bringing back the magic. Some stuff on the, the effects of 2009. Did, did they bring some pictures? magic, please? Because I'm confused as to what it is I'm actually looking at here. Oh, thank you, Dave. Right, that's a big under. Ah, uh, oh, bless Dave for giving me a nice big picture. Right, that is so, helpful. That, that is helpful. It comes to something when you get um, your, your viewers are sending you stuff in the middle of an episode. It's really quite cool. So, thanks, Dave. The, the end of the warp missiles are wrong. The. Main deflector dish is wrong. The colour on the bottom struts is wrong. The detail on the back of the bottom strut is wrong. It is not as thick on the back as it should be. It is missing a number. It is missing a shuttle bay. It is missing a housing set. The bridge is in the wrong. Thing. The bridge is in the wrong place. The paint job across the name. Uh, across the main deflected I think what wrong. we're going for is it's, it's wrong <laughs> it's missing housing from the main warp nacelle at the back it's missing the main group from the front it's missing the naming and number section from the front it's missing what I'm going to assume would be the auxiliary turbo lift ports from the top of the saucer section in addition to the bridge not being painted, it's painted flat instead of mould. And got a ditch. I'm just, we're going to review it. Let's review the damn thing. The paint job on the. What are they calling these? In the. Can you go back to the schematic? What do you mean calling the, these? It's a Kobayashi yeah, Maru type. Nice, be, be nice this model. Don't, don't trash this one. This one, I'm going to put this out of the way of small hands. Right. Oh, Jesus. 
Right, okay, so, get it, oh, oh, and I've got glue stains on mine. Oh, they come. This is what she proclaimed. Fudge off. They uh, fudge right, I didn't even see that because I was holding it this way around. Oh, they come off with this. Um, can I go back to, could you tell course? me, can you tell me what those two pieces are actually named as? What they are meant to be. There's no topographical view. This is special. There's no topographical view of the. No. It's just concept sketches because. <laughs> oh, fine. Okay, right. So, we will, thanks to Dave, put a, a picture on the page so that we can go through this bit by bit. Sven, look at this. Right, so let's start purely. Are you going to send me that so I can put it on the. On Almost. Yeah, okay, so Sven, yeah. let's start with the walking cell. So the end of the buzzard ramscape is the wrong colour. Okay. The the shape of the baffling is wrong. It's missing registry information. It's missing registry information and strut information, two main line information. It's got a cube here that a pen does not as well. appear anywhere here. The housing for the back is the wrong shape, the wrong colour. Did you not just go through all this? I know, I'm going to do it with you. Right. The, the with, entire with aft respect section. To it, I have very little interest in this thing. This thing's it's crap. Not my Kobayashi Maru. I don't think it's anybody's Kobayashi Maru. I think it's the hodgepodge. Of okay, so let's see gonna, what people have said actually. I'm going to ignore the fact that it's got glue all over it, which I am going to be giving Please, Eagle no. Moss. Eagle Moss are getting a phone call about that because that's just crap work. Yeah, okay. Um do, do you want to have any sort of look, look at this thing? Um, right, let's just run up a bit for a moment because there's been a lot of messages coming through. Uh, those blue, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did Dave get the Glomer from and how old is it? Uh, it's from 2010 release and the US. Um, Kobe is so wrong. wrong. Yes, wrong. it is. Yes, just it wrong. Is. It's based off, sorry, excuse me, it's based off the first run concept art from the magazine. My pods are both bent to the right. <laughs> And then the step to the left. <laughs> Put your hand on your hips. <laughs> um, what kills me is the actual model. The actual model is clearly kick bashed from the Kelvin. You, if you did that, it would be ninety nine percent correct. But as as it is, it, it has a bridge from Franklin. What the yeah? Uh, just, I just sent David a pic of the Kobe Ashmore. Yes, thank you. That, thank you. Entirely much, wrong. Much appreciated. It really helped me rip this thing apart. Tricky Mike has given us a link to. I assume it's the same picture, but I can't. Yeah. At the moment. No. Um, do you think he must scrape in the bottom of the barrel for ships for now? No, no. There's so many ships they haven't done, but they seem to have skipped some decent ships and then started scraping the bottom of the barrel in in early. They've been funny about um, it. It's just, this. This no. 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 Um, the only thing missing from this mag is the bit that says next time. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, even better than that. I'll get another picture. Oh, fantastic. Right. Why does it look like it's got tank treads on it? Let's see it from the. Thanks for the additional Two. photo. Much appreciated. Mm. Oh, man. They really screwed this up. Um, ah, I am so glad I sent him that pic. You are. It, it, it's. <laughs> Might be the quickest. At least what's correct on it. They spelt Kobayashi correctly. And Maru. No. Oh, okay. They spelt it correctly, but they put it in the wrong place and the wrong size. Yeah, but what I'm picking at is what they've got right. Okay. It's the only thing that's right. Main defector dish is blue. Nice. And that's it. It's uh, isn't a perfect it's, circle. Isn't, no, it's wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> I'm just. It's crap. Um, apart from that, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Apart from that, it's okay. Okay, Sven. <laughs> Dangerous actor. <laughs> So, are you nice. ready for this? No, so at least there's no spelling mistakes. The scout ship crashed again. Are your pods straight? Are your pods straight? Yes. Yes. Sorry, Mike. His pods are straight. Okay. It's the only thing about him that is. A geekology first. Are we ready, boys and girls? The Kobarashi Maru Zero. I'm shocked. It's... No. You're it's... saving all the points for next time, aren't you? That's, that's just shit. You're saving the points for next time. I might be, but that's crap. <laughs> um, that's thanks for letting me know. I had no idea a glomer pushy plushy even existed. Dangerous yep. Dax gone. Ooh, wow! Or should I say, wow? <laughs> With a zero in the middle instead of a no.
That's abysmal. It's it's atrocious. It doesn't happen. Man. It doesn't help that yours is is, is a mess. No, even, even without the glue, it's a zi- It's just a zero. I'm gonna give it one. Why? Because they spelled Kobayashi Maru correctly. Um. That is not twenty five quid's worth of model. No, it bleeding isn't. Yet. Wow. Just just wow. I think the only federation ship I won't be getting. It's a shame because I know what you're getting for Christmas. <laughs> it might have a big gloom on it to see it pre Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I don't want that in my collection. It's horrible. Yeah, don't blame you. Don't blame you. They better be making up for it in November slash December with the next one. I, I genuinely, I can't get yeah. This is just, ah. Oh. Hell right, no. so, um, Rich UK's, uh, hi Rich, um, hi. you mentioned earlier, but I forgot to say who it was. Uh, I disagree with the score, it should be lower. Well, we're getting even minus figures now. We, we, uh, don't think Minus we, one. We've never given a minus score. The fact you want to send it back suggests a minus score might be in order. Actually, are, 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 are we actually, are we allowed to send these back? Okay. I've never inquired. Uh, discussed. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I want to refund because I'll be terrible. brutally honest. If I can get my money back, I will send this back. Because no, why don't you give it a try? I, you know what, I, <laughs> I'm going to phone them to to complain about the fact that this one's got glue and what's yeah, like crap, okay, and too. I will post them this one back, and I want a refund because <laughs> that is just atrocious. Okay, it really was a no-win scenario. Yes, yeah. but they didn't need to go for it in the actual ship. If they just made it twice the height and put some random greebles in, it would be wouldn't be so bad. I think it would. Sorry, I'm going to have to disagree. Adam says, "Is there a giant trouble to go with the glow?" No, there's just a little, just a little eats. baby one. No, 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 a little no. baby one. Um, then, but it is pink. Which okay, here's no, a trivia question. question. I've seen him dressed as a bear. That looks like a giant trouble. Here's a trivia question <laughs> for you. The pink tribble that is with the glomer is not the only pink tribble they have ever officially released. Can anybody tell me what the other pink tribble that was officially released is before the end of the show? There may be a small prize in it for whoever gets the answer right. You're paying for the postage of someone in the States. Um, <laughs> and it'll be a cyber gift. <laughs> Right, but man, it's just abysmal as is. Yes, if you compare it to the concept art in the magazine, no, it's correct. Yes, Vadru Mech says you're being generous. I, 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 I have a George. Um, you'll be generous, Sven. I'd given it half a point. I don't think EM knew the, the picture I sent you, David, existed. Hi, lad. I agree with that. Irish Trekkie. Hello, Irish Trekkie. How are you? I hope you're okay. Um, I don't Thank want you. your brain getting too warm. Thanks. Richard, you can. You can send it back if you're not happy with it, no matter what. Yes. Um, Linda says, did either of you guys ever watch Blake 7 back in the day? I assume I did. Yes. Yeah, I'm guessing I did. Yes, I did. Uh, I the music's in my head. Actually, but... I, I don't recall me and you ever discussing Blake 7. That's anyway. because I won't remember it. Yeah, that's fair enough. All I can say is, old rack, what the hell? It takes two of you to carry... Unless you're under fire, at which point he can just throw it on his back and run with him. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a... Um, Adam says, I guess one thing that will be on your stall next week if you can't send it back. Oh, by the way, if you're after a glomer, I have one in stock as well. It wasn't with a Barbie set, was it? What are you referring to? No, it wasn't. He's referring to the other pink trouble. Oh, oh, the Barbie and Ken. Yeah. No. Nice, no. Uh, Beyond Enterprise A should have been made instead. Yes. yes. Totally, to- yeah, totally, yeah, yeah, hundred percent, yeah, yeah. I'm with you on that one. Sebastian's popped in. Hello, all. And who's all? We've got no all. I assume it's Trek. Uh, a Trekkie might since be all because he said. Ah, no. uh, okay. I'm gonna go with that. All right. Okay. So, are you saying Trekkie Mike's a bit than all? Something like that. Uh, Avon comes to mind. Avon calling. Yeah. Right. So, did, did he, he have tell me there was something else we needed to do today? Yes, uh, we've had uh, some post. We've had posts. We've had posts. Since when did we have posts? Have, have, you, s- ever have you spoke posts? of Space Dock? Yeah, well, we did a video last week, but we got Space Dock! We got Space Dock! Pictures, everything. If you haven't watched the video from last week, watch that. That explains it.
And we quite happy that the whole week we kind of kicked something off, even if Dave did. Dave did all the work. Dave we did the real work. We, we had this marvellous idea it was going to steamroll and really pick up and power. And Dave just built Dave one, just built one, one to, to this. Showed it to... to uh, well, then. Dave, Dave, why didn't you do it with this, mate? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Actually, I know why you didn't do it with this. is because nobody wanted this. Nobody asked for this. Was the pink triple a keychain? No. Nice guess, but no. Nah. This is from Martin Thompson. Hi, Eagle Moss. Do you do refunds? <laughs> do, you do, do, you, do you do ICO investigations as well? Actually, do you, hang on, do you want to cover that before we go on to this? Because it's eating at you. I know it's eating at you. Yeah. As, as, go as on, then. Cover the data protection Actually, person. You, you start yes. that off, because I need another cup of coffee. OK. Uh, just catching up with stuff on here. Um... Space dock, yeah, 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 yes, yes, space dock. Space dock. We need a space dock, we're getting a space dock. Um, let's hoping it's about 35 quid. Uh, it's going to be reasonably hollow, let's be honest. Uh, that'll be cool, that'll be better be under my tree for Christmas Day. Um, so, anybody wants to buy me one? Uh, that goes out to my family, parents, anyone. Uh, anybody wants great. to buy me one too, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll happily um, have them all. Data, I thought they had the same reference I had. Clearly not, no, you have better not. references. Yeah. Um, I was tricky says e Eagle Dave or Dakmos, one or the other. <laughs> Love it. Right. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am a data protection person. I have GDPR things and stuff. And from what I've heard today, uh, Eagle Moss have bugged up, <laughs> basically. Um, oh, just a smidge. And then followed it up by their cons customer services guys asking people to basically break the data protection act themselves. Really stupid. I didn't know about that bit. Yeah, they basically told people people to scan or take a photograph of the invoice and send them an email. Oh, oh you can't do that. that. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, uh, Dave's and the other team members' site, um, Facebook um, group, which is the Eagle Moss fan page, has got a statement from. Um, the data protection officer at Eagle Moss. Uh, people will be contacted apparently by Eagle Moss. They're going to have to basically tell the ICO that this has happened because there's so many people involved in it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's a daft little human error. It's a silly thing where a pile of paper and a pile of paper, and one pile has been approached from a different end than the other, um, and it's it's utterly stupid, daft right down to a very small human error and to be brutally honest um, the ICO will probably be very decent about it because it's daft although, and when you look there won't be any although actual, that comment after well yeah that's probably going to bite them in the ass more, even more than, than the actual issue but um, as long as they report to the ICO which they have to do within 72 hours um, it should be fine uh, because the ICO will basically investigate them suggest ways to make sure it doesn't happen again <laughs> Um, I, can, only, I can suggest ways that shouldn't happen. They'll again. probably only find them if they find evidence that it's been purpose or was malicious intent somewhere in the lines, or procedures haven't been followed, or someone hasn't been trained properly. Well, the procedure obviously hasn't been followed well, no, because it happened in the first place. Yeah, but that it's a case of I followed procedure but made an error is different from I didn't follow the procedure. That's true. So, you know, looking at it from that point of view, yeah. I mean, since the 25th of May, GDPR has been in effect across the majority of Europe um, and does affect anything, any, any company that's dealing with anybody from Europe. Um, GDPR became law in the UK as part of Data Protection Act 2018, which only reached the world assent two days before it came into effect, which is ridiculous, which is why so many companies are catching up. And basically, uh, Data Protection Act 2018 in the UK is actually more stringent than GDPR because it builds on it, adds things, and makes selections. So, for instance, in the UK, it's perfectly legal for you to have an online account at 13, and in Germany, you have to be 16. That's where some of the selections are made. But in this case, this is not sensible in any way, shape, or form. Um, and if they've got any sense, they'll already be in contact with the ICO by this point. In fact, the moment the first person oh, mentioned uh, it, uh, it that Dave has a comment. Brilliant. I need a space dock. I need, need a space, space dock. Um, okay, 
Yes. Ben. Right. Let's go back to this briefly. Okay. Sorry. Um, looking forward to DST. T, take it to Ben next week. And Martin. Uh, Trekkie Mike says something about a cat in a box. Meow. Meow. Um, Irish Trekkie. I want a tiny Enterprise for my space doctor to come. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, I'd like an even smaller one to go with another thing, but um, we'll mention that another time. Um, Trekkie Mike says they told they they yeah Eagle Moss told he was the first person to mention the fact that they told him to scan the thing and send the email um, to tell any um, in, in, they told him to tell other people to do it. So oh. that post got removed very quickly once wow. they contacted. Just wow. Just found this on Amazon. Is it the one Dave referring to? What? Has he messaged you? No, but I'll, I'll log on to my YouTube from uh, Maybe they'll do a Google selfie. Googling it is cheating. I asked if anybody knew it off the top of their head. Uh, Irish see Trekkie see says, maybe in. they'll do a sale to run, run fundraise for the fine. Thing is, is the ICO are a little busy with uh, what happened with Google in the last week, or at least revealed from Google in the last week, and um, um, they're was? still dealing with Facebook. Um, at the moment, um, there was basically a backdoor in the app protocols for third party app developers for Google Plus. So, as a result, Google are shutting down Google Plus because they can't plug it immediately. So, they're just going to shut down Google Plus, apparently. Okay, where's the link um, for the I don't know. He said, he said he's, I assume he messaged you in another way, not on there. Ah, no. Have a look at your Facebook it's messages. On, okay, so it's from Fadro Mech. Oh, right, okay. Fadro Mech. Okay, okay Fadro Mech. Let's have a look. And the winning answer is such a good large pink. No. Nice, but no. It's not official, is it? Mm. Oh, Sound and motion, yeah, these would be official. Yeah, these are the official, but no, this isn't it. But it is another one, so it's both right and wrong. No, I said the first. The first. Oh, did you use the first? Are you sure you didn't say the other? You know what? I'm, I'm just going to tell people the answer because they're obviously having to Google it. Okay. Um, so for Valentine's Day, says you're Day, so for Valentine's Day, they released a pink tribble for San Diego Comic Con. How and it went that? like this. A yellow tribble, a blue tribble, a red tribble, Pink Valentine's Day special trouble. It was called the Command Triple Set. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So move on. Martin Thompson, are you collecting the alien ships from Eagle Moss? Where would you put them? Oh, the alien region. Yeah, okay. There's, there's um, been shots of the dropship kicking around apparently this season. Uh, so. oh, okay. At present, I am not collecting them. Reason being. Have you seen how much room these things take up if you have them in your house? It's like you've seen of BSG and the Viper. Um, I live original series. Oh, oh. I live in a hundred and thirty. Actually, this year, this year would be one hundred and thirty-nine. I live in a hundred and thirty-nine year old cottage. It is small. It is very very small. I do not have the room for all of the pretty ships. So no, sadly. Any I, comments? right now it's going to be no, no strategy comments um, um, to be fair the alien series really was on my list but I'm extremely limited on funds at the moment and it, it just okay. simply wasn't viable quickly catching up with this little lot um, Trekkie Mike said you're fired no someone yeah. anymore is fired yeah. um, Dangerous Stack was going oh Mini Mates it came with the Mini Mates oh balls <laughs> okay. Mini Mates whoa, whoa. the Mini Mates dribbles one pink alright then did they do a pink one? Not in Mini Mates. Ah, yeah, sure. It wasn't mm. an exclusive set, was it? <laughs> Are we sure it wasn't? Oh, oh, you're going to have to look it up now. <laughs> it'll bug you. It'll bug you for a week. Um, now we know why the EM web store does not have counts, or they'd be using other people's credit cards. That would actually have to be um, 128 bits secured, otherwise it wouldn't actually be legal. It's going to be... Okay. Yeah. Anyway, um, it was a, a called the Make Us Money Triple set. Yeah, <laughs> Make Us Money Triple. Yeah, but it was uh, San Diego. All Make Us Money. Uh, Make Us Money sets. Um, I just checked. There wasn't a pink one <laughs> in the mini mates. Oh, there was. I didn't think there was. Uh, Martin Thompson says they are really cool. Right. Okay. Post bag. Yeah. Do do the post bag because 
I didn't know we had a... Oh, I had a... Yes, yes. Well, we have an address out there. Mm. For those of you who do want to send us something... <laughs> a big bag full of swag, please. <laughs> uh, there's an address down below. Um, which is actually the head office of the chari- one of the charities we support. And we've graciously said that they'll take posting for us rather than spending eek amount of money on a yeah, PO box, box that we can't afford to run. not happening. We can't um, afford your PC yet, so we can't afford a PO box. Yes. Um, buy some details from Ikea. I don't know where you put them. Um, and I was trekking. Gotta fly! Take it easy, my trekkie amigos! So it's a shame you're not going to be at DST. Oh, is not going to be at DST? Yeah, Irish Trekkie's not going to be at DST, unfortunately. Oh, that's a shame. Yes, we have Trek Collector as long as they'll let him on the plane with a broken leg. Right. What's in the box, then? What's in the box? Have we not done that before? Yeah, I think that was a tiny little uh, space dock, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Ladies and gents, uh, let's ignore the commander, the, the captain part, because that's someone who knows my SFI rank. This is from Vader America, according to the outside of the box. Um, that is the address. If you want to send us anything, it is, and I'll read it to you because I'm not nice like that. Uh, is Geekology, care of Dazzling Dreams, GB, 154 Wharton Street, Birmingham, B12 OSS. That's in the United Kingdom for those of you not in the UK. Yeah, there's a pair of scissors in the. Oh, actually, there isn't. Uh, you see, craft knife. Oh, there you go. There's a floristry scissors. Use the black ones under it. Use the black ones under it. You're not helping. Your 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 black scissors and black black why have you got scissors. forestry scissors? Because I used to be a florist in front of this them. with these, so and you've been talking about cottaging. Black. Um, black scissors. Let's use those. <laughs> Where's that? Not, uh, not gay sign. I think you need it again. <laughs> <laughs> not gay sign. Not gay sign. <laughs> God bless Rachel for doing that. That yeah. was quite. Funny. You've missed this edge here. It's because I haven't done it yet. I've missed it. I haven't done it. This could be anything. And you're just opening up oh, my lovely, kitchen lovely table. Oh, lovely, lovely anthrax. Yes. My kitchen table. I'm just, I'm just pointing. Rice in. in. Just what I wanted. Happy Christmas. Oh, look, some packing. <laughs> Yay, packing. Bags of air. That, that, that's appropriate for the show. Yeah! <laughs> I don't need another co-host. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, was that not the response that this was... Why is there a letter in telling us something about it? Okay, so we... Oh, but we know who it's from. We know it's from Vadra. Oh, okay, okay, well that's. Fine. Thank you, Vadra. As long as we know who to thank, thank you, Vadra, for Vadra giving Mets. Sven something to jabber about for the next half hour. Look at the size of my trailer. Oh. In fact, in this case. <laughs> oh, Sven. Yeah. Oh, Sven. Oh. <laughs> Creo Optimus! <laughs> the Creo Prime! I don't think he's going he's to be pulling his trailer. He's not going to pull that trailer. No, he's not going to pull the trailer. <laughs> I recognise this. Roll that. Good old roller. This is a third party um, trailer. No, oh, it's going to be for one of the... Um, the big masterpiece. Yeah, masterpiece then if it's a third yeah. party trailer. There'd be no other reason to produce a third party trailer. Because the original masterpiece Optimus didn't come with a trailer. It was already too expensive as it was, to be fair. So are we abandoning the Star Trek at this stage and, and moving to... Oh. The stickers are nice. This is uh, basically a replica of the original... Oh, that one. Actually, I'll tell Quite you what, down, third party... Say, that's not bad, is it? That's nice. That is nice. Hinge points look good. Plastic mm-hmm. looks good. Rubber tyres. Oh, they've, they've even put the... Yeah. Okay. That's Did awesome. you say rubber tires? Yeah. Oh, is that spring loaded? I heard oh. that. And I... Yes. <laughs> oh, Sorry, yes. got loaded in. Loaded in. Right. Ready? Uh, gee, yeah, yeah. Ready? One, two, three. That's decent. That's weird. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Uh, only drawback is someone's put a label in the wrong place. But hey, that's cool. That is really, really cool. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, it, it is so retro. For an I, d- I tell you what, Sven, um, cool. before you start drawing and getting very, very excited, 
Today is predominantly a Star Trek one. Mm -hmm. So why don't we fold this bad boy up? And what I'll do and is we can compare point. it with another trailer and, another and go uh, blow for blow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll okay. Um, thank you very much for sending this in. We will happily do, do a complete and proper review of it yeah. when we can compare it with another one. Yeah. Do you want to leave that swing I'll... loaded? No. You, you don't want to leave it swing loaded. Oh, <laughs> did, did you forget that? That's awesome! It is very, very nice. Very nice. Okay, so we'll do a proper review of this. Yeah. Um, In fact, it'll end up with having the MP10, the MP1, and the original Optimus. Okay, together, we, we think, can't do this next week because yeah. obviously it's the It'll have to be an edited one, I think, to be fair. It'll have to be an edited one. Okay, so when we can't, gets his can't PC, be sitting here for half an hour just transforming bots. That doesn't work. No, it really doesn't. Yeah, that, that, was, that was a that painful, painful episode. We okay, we'll we'll the do a proper review. As well. We'll um, do a, a proper I'll review. I'll pop the uh, the Creo. <laughs> Creo Optimus with a Matrix. Come on. Oh. Creo, pop that in. Just Creo. Creo! Creo! Let's pop that in. Plastic crack. Actually, do you know what's really funny? When you said, like, Creo is plastic crack to Transformer fans. I thought that the other day. Well, I, was getting, plastic crack. I was getting <laughs> things ready for DST, yeah. and I found the Wizard exclusive flashback Janeway and the Wizard exclusive Captain Kirk uh, from a piece of the action in the mini boxes. Do you remember those really cool boxes? Uh, square box about this big, right. big with the figures in. Okay. And I literally have this moment. This was crack for Playmate fans. <laughs> It really was. It was right. So do some shout Right. Outs. Okay, let's go back. Um, da, da, da. Come on, David, do your best Brad Pitt impression. Does that involve leaving the box? Uh, yeah, so yeah. Uh, not, not leaving Jennifer Aniston. No. <laughs> no. Um, I'm just watching the whole time. I've only just noticed Dave's badge swap. <laughs> yeah, it happened when I went and got a cup of coffee. I did like the fact that Spenny gave me a TNG one at the beginning of the... Assimilation. Uh, Resistance is futile. Oh, I do like a ball joint. <laughs> Some dangerous dad. Uh, will, you, will you watch me not I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bubble wrap it into it properly in a bit. I'm just putting it down there out of the way for now. Not going to spend um, on it, on it. You're welcome to spend the Creo Optimus as an exclusive with the Matrix sticker on the chest. Very cool. What the, was that? A ghost orb or a, orb or a bug? It's an old cottage. It could be haunted orbs. Uh, apparently, there's orbs on the video. What? You know what an orb is, right? Yeah, I know where there's an orb. I'm just trying to see where there's an orb on the video. Yeah, apparently there was an orb on the video. Oh, okay. That's not creepy at all. No, not at all. Okay, so uh, we've been haunted while we're doing videos now. Ooh, spooky! It is, it is October. It's, we're getting ready for Halloween. We better do a live stream. On yeah, Halloween. but. but We've already proved the wrong. The, the super collider proved that there can't be ghosts. Why? Because they would have detected it when they detected the Higgs boson. Why? Because it's I, the I, most I, I, I because these most sensitive tool on the planet for energy. And I the tend, moment they I turn that on. You see, I tend to go in for the whole stone tape theory rather than anything else. Okay. So that, that, no. it's if, recording in your wall. If there was if there was another form of energy anywhere, they would have detected it whilst they were looking for the Higgs boson. Only if it was haunted. Anywhere? <laughs> oh, just no, just no, no, no. We'll move along, move along, move along. Oh. Um, Dangerous Dak said, "Oh shit, Derek Okora just got an erection." You don't have to read that last one. <laughs> Be late now. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Did I miss that? Say it again. Derek Akora. You know who that is? Uh, name most is... Haunted Live. Most oh, haunted. God, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. The one who was a disgrace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. just um, now. Trekkie Mike, I will time code it later. Uh, ghosts are real. You can't prove a negative. Fair point. Can't prove a negative. Uh, ghosts are real. I, I think it's like I kind of, kind of agree that there's something. I just don't know what it is for sure, but... You know, apparently I have seen things you know, like my grandfather twenty years after he died. Yeah, yeah. Sven, you're a Transformers fan. I have, I often assume you have seen things. <laughs> this was before Transformers came out. Because apparently, apparently, when I was about five, um, I came, I was talking to someone on the stairs at my nan's house. 
came in, spoke to my mom, my dad, and my nan, and explained that I was speaking to this chap on the stairs, described him, and apparently it was my grandfather. He'd been dead for 20 years. <laughs> like you do. As you do. <sighs> anyway. Right. Right, so we have Trekkie got Mike has us, minutes. And Tricky Trekkie Mike has given us two pounds for nipples. Nipples! Nice. You need to do that photo. You need to do that photo. Okay, so we've got oh six minutes before we have to sadly wrap up this week's episode. So if you have any last questions or comments, now is a perfect time to scooch them in. It's more your colour. Anyway, any more comments? Come on. Come on. Chat publicly as David Zabili. <laughs> Chat publicly as David Zabili. A wibble. Chat publicly what? As you. Oh, okay. This is not Dave. This is me. I mean, a wibble. A wibble. Ha ha. Okay. You didn't tell because it's spelled correctly. <laughs> Sven, I'll send you a link about the Creole Optimus. I know about the Creole Optimus. Don't worry. <laughs> don't forget what you're talking to here. Um, <laughs> um, right. Has Space Stop Birmingham got a logo that may or may not be the outside hull of Space Stop Birmingham? Yes. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Um, in fact, um, and we have uh, a very, very small number. www.spacedock.space. We have a very, very, very small number of a specially limited run badge with that uh, logo on. Well, not actually, only to publicise the event, version of the logo. Not only to, to publicise Space Dock, but also to help out two charities yeah. uh very very limited numbers i highly recommend you pick them up they will be available at dsc there's only 100 ever made um it's got the space dock birmingham pre-commissioning logo um which yeah. is why there's only 100. so there's why well, there's only 100 of that um, one. so if you want one of those hunt us down at dst uh, or actually to be fair you probably need to be in the bar the main uh, public bar at the Birmingham Hilton Metropole on the Friday night, because I don't think they're going to last much past that. I've got a few. You've got I'll a few on, on your stand. Thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, as for who's going to be, um, uh, are you at DST on Saturday? Yes. You definitely are. Definitely. I am dependent on Chris. Um, <laughs> um, I, I, I hope to be at DST. To be brutally honest, there's, there's a couple of things that might stop me. One of this being health issues, but. We shall see. Um, there, are, there is there's plans. And then multiplying. <laughs> um, a special model is one reason to deliberately fail the Kobayashi Maru test. Yes. Or you know alter the conditions of the test. Yeah. Um, Badger just checking. Uh, Linda Burley. Bye guys. Enjoy your weekend. Really enjoyed the show. Thank it you. It is our pleasure. Make sure. Um, anything else? We will have three minutes. I'm not stopping before three minutes because tricking my skin is too quick. Hope to see you there, guys. If you're around on the Friday night, come and find us in the public bar at the Birmingham Hilton Metropole if you're not in the Deep Space Nine premiere. Mind you, we would probably be hanging around a little longer than that anyway. What uniform are you, you going to be wearing at uh, DST? I only have one I can wear. Oh, okay. I these days. You're going to be in your first contact? No, I don't have a first contact. What one you wearing? Oh! Uh, Captain's Casual. TNG Casual. Yeah, it's the only thing I've got one. That's a nice shit for the one. Now I'm Captain and get away with it. Yeah. Um, I hope to see you there, guys, said Martin. Uh, Dangerous Stack, I bet you that's their reason for the for the, the Kobayashi Maru. They altered the conditions of the model. Yeah. Someone squished it. Somebody did. Um, Somebody did some bad to that model. Trek K, great live stream. Hopefully see you at DST. It yeah. would be lovely. Yeah, it would be great. Absolutely. Right, well, so in that case, uh, thank you very much for watching. You can subscribe to us here on YouTube. You can follow us on both Facebook and Twitter. And Sven, where do we hide the lovely high-quality images of the various things we review? They're on Flickr. They're on Flickr. They're on Flickr. Really Flickr. Flickr. Have a look Excellent. down below. In fact, if you want to get to the links, if you go to our channel page on, on YouTube, uh, the banner at the top, there's actually little icons in the corner of the banner. Um, yeah. So if you have a look at the, 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 the header banner, um, right-hand side, towards the bottom of the banner, is like all these little icons. There's five icons. Um, one's for the Facebook page, one's for Twitter, uh, one's for Flickr, 
One's for Bandcamp for the music, which cold storage, that's um, Tim White allows us to use in on the channel. And one for the Patreon, once I launch it. Once we actually get I have been, I have literally been getting home and falling asleep for the last several weeks from work, so which is why it's not up, so apologies for that. So um, yes, we, we are officially announcing Sven does have trouble getting it up. So, <laughs> you very much for watching. I guess I have something to get up. Um, Vadra Meg. Do you oh, think I'd see you so happy to own a Transformers toy that doesn't transform Sven? Yeah. Um, visit, uh, Dave Rostack says, visit their Flickr here. Thank you very much, Dave. Um, he's put up the link, so go check that out to follow us on Flickr because that, you know. You're it's looking. a thing. There's quite a lot of photos on there. There's, a, there's over a thousand photos on there. Yeah. 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 It's a good job they're giving this a lot of storage space. Yeah. Um, and, there will, will there be a review, and will there be a review of the Glomer at some point, says Vadro Mech. Quite probably. We might do a whole plush toy roundup at some point, but they've done a few. <laughs> okay. I think, ladies and gents, that brings us to a close. Goodbye. Ta -ra. Go on, Sven! Hit the button, hit the button. Various things button. are turning from the screen. Click on them. You're creating orb, you know that. <laughs> Say again. You're creating orb. I am an orb. See you later, Dave! <laughs>